looked out and saw a crack of red, which you might be able to see on the horizon. So I thought, why not just get up, get out, see if I can get a shot. And so that's the, that's the plan. So there's a little jetty here, um, which is a nice little jetty. And this one sort of curves off to the left. So it's, not, it's a gentle curve, so it's not like a straight angle. Uh, but I thought we'd just run out and we'll see what we can, what we can uh, come up with today. So I'm coming out, whoops, a daisy. Yep, there is some lightning. Uh, so I'm going to set you up now and see what we can capture. I'm going to do a couple of two minute, maybe four minute, but I think two minute initially exposures. And yep, absolute bollocks. Get focus. Just gonna throw that just on for a second. Uh, just to see what we capture. The light on the left of this image is a little is a little bright, so um, I'm just just looking, seeing what we've got here. And I didn't capture anything. That was a 30 second shot. And I'm just checking uh, focus more than anything else. And that looks that looks fairly good. So I'm gonna pop it up to a minute. And we'll give that a quick go. See how we do. So I'm hoping for another flash of flash of lightning, but it may or may not happen. There's some small flashes in the in the distance. And the sunrise is uh, directly ahead of us. You can see where it's glowing red. I'm not anticipating much at all. There is a slight um, breaking the cloud there, but I think it's heavy cloud that you can see coming in from right to left is going to snuff that out. But what I am interested in is that there is some lightning activity out there, and we'll just see whether we're going to be uh, lucky enough to capture some of that. There's some there, but it's behind the clouds and quite ill defined. So let's have a little look. It's a beautiful morning, you have to you have to admit I just need the rain to just ease off instead. It's picking up. Come on, just just give us that break that we want. Just that little break.
Not sure you can make that out. There is a large, beautifully textured uh, cloud that's coming up and over us that's carrying that rain. Um, the wind's picking up and so's the drops. So that's, and here the water. And the drops are getting heavier. So I'm just gonna have to wait this out a minute or two. Wow, maybe I shouldn't have done. Maybe I shouldn't have done. I'm just going to try and shield the front of the camera as best I can. Let's just keep going, see what we can do. Mr. Cracker. There's the thunder. There was one off to the left, but to the right, I don't think it's in our field of view. Keep going. Oh, that was a big one, a loud one. I'm gonna have to check the front of this lens in a sec to see if I've shielded it enough. And the sad thing is, is that when I do that, I know I'm gonna miss a cracker. <laughs> so it's a quick look. Seems clear. Just seems clear, so let's give it another 15 second shot. ISO 320. We're just gonna sit here and take shot after shot and see what we can get. I just want one more. That's on uh, manual focus, focused on the end of the jetty. Wow! I hope we caught that. That was lightning that run along the clouds, uh, but I don't think I got it. Does seem to be a bit quiet. Seems to have quietened down. That was way off to the left. I don't think we captured that. No, we didn't. We are getting some quite nice light now though. Without that lightning, it's uh, the right-hand side of this image is plain and boring. So I may shift the composition slightly back and try and capture that light and the colour. And they are oh, swarming around me, these things. Okay, so let's give that a go. Yeah, the colour is quite nice over there. Um, I wish they'd leave me alone. Don't know if you can see huge welts all over the place. Right, and it might be start to need to put in a filter or two. Um, but we'll see. I'm just lowering the ISO. 
and that's well exposed. I'm just going to make sure that when we like the picture, we focus near as well as far, and just so that we've got everything in focus front to back. It is pretty out here. to the jetty and capture this from a distance. I just love the, the little curve to this is, is fantastic. I just love that. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna run back and take one from, uh, from back there. Oops, <laughs> and there's a, took a picture of nothing. is the interesting thing. So let's throw on our filter holder and just tighten it on. This is the Nissi or Nicey um, version 6. There's a version 7 out at the moment but um, I'm not sure if the if the advancements are, are worth the outlay at the moment, I think the six is perfectly adequate. I came from Lee, I had the Lee system and the Koken system before that, which the Koken system wasn't great, but it did, it did the job. So what I'm gonna do here very quickly as I'm going to focus on um, about a third of the way in. I'm going to do a panorama, so I'm going to start focusing on the left. And there's not much in the background to actually cause an issue with parallax. There are a couple of uh, markers out there uh, which may cause an issue. Um, but we will see and I think I might need to move you because I'm going to shoot that way and capture there's a small clump of green Just here and you're in the way So let me just shift you before the light changes
thank you very much for joining me here today at Malang. Um, it's been a wonderful morning, quite exciting. Um, it was a pity I didn't capture that huge, you know, um, flash of lightning uh, that we saw earlier on. Um, but I was being careful, keeping the keeping keeping the, the, the cover on the front of the lens because of the rain. Um, if only, you know, if only it wasn't raining, we'd have we'd have had that shot for sure. Uh, but we experienced it, and that that's, that comes a close second. And there'll be more, so we will get out. I'm hoping that the stormy uh, summer season is here for another week or so. So um, hopefully it'll coincide with the weekend shoot again. So what can you say? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, wherever you are, um, look after yourself and stay safe. See ya.